Hello everyone and welcome to this guitar lesson. That didn't sound too good. We gotta learn how to tune this thing. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, it doesn't matter how great of a guitar player you are, if you're not in tune, you're not gonna sound too good. So uh, in this video, we're gonna learn an easy way to tune our instrument. So uh, the first thing that I suggest you to do is to learn the name of the strings. Uh, six different different strings and um, there's a little funny sentence that I like to use uh, to remember the the notes for each string so my name is Emil and so the sentence is from the low string Emil ate dynamite good by Emil <laughs> so it's actually Eddie is usually used in that sentence but I mean I'm in charge of this lesson my name is Emil so I'm going with Emil so anyway <laughs> so Emil ate dynamite, might, E A D, that's the, the lowest three strings here, and then goodbye Emil are the highest three strings here. So E A D G B E. So there's a high E string and a low E string, same note but different octaves. Um, and a great way to help us tune our instrument is to use an app on our phone. Uh, and I'm using the Pro Guitar Tuner today, of course. Our own applications but there's a lot of different applications and there's even clip-on tuners that you put on the headstock that can feel the vibrations and read uh, off the note that way but uh, a, a, an application on a phone that you can put on your a knee here and just uh, uh, that's a great tool to help you tune our instrument so first of all we have our tuners here um, these tuners we use these to tune our instrument obviously so this one goes to the low, low, low E string. Emil ate dynamite. Good by Emil. So E, A, D, G, B, and E. And so uh, the more I tighten the string, that way, uh, that uh, will uh, higher the pitch. So I just put on some new strings here, and I just I kind of turn them randomly. Uh, so, but when you start out, it's going to be a low note, right? And you're going to bring it up to the note E. And we're going to use our phone, our smartphone, to open up the application. So, I just put the phone on my uh, knee here, and I have it in front of my guitar, and I record the screen at the same time here. You can see the needle going all over the place because I'm speaking, usually not in one pitch only. So that's why it's the needle is going all the all, all over the place. But so uh, first of all, we got to find the note E on the low E string here, right? So I'm gonna play the string, and right now it says D with a little flat sign uh, next to it. That's called D flat. So that's too low. I'm gonna bring it up to, until I see the letter name E. Here we go. Now I see the letter name, E. And what we, what we want to do is to, we're gonna get the needle in dead center. So as I tighten the string here, the needle will go up and we want it to be in dead center until the light is green and we want the note E. So here we go. If it's just a little bit too high, sometimes I like to just pull the strings a little bit and stretch it out like that and try again. That's kind of as close as I can get that one. So now we have the note E on the low string here. Let's go to the next one. This is the A string. And uh, you, you remember Emil 8, Emil 8, so A. It's pretty close to A. If it says, uh, you know, if it says G or, or uh, even F or something, uh, it's too low. But we want to bring it up to the note A. There we go. Next note is D. Emil 8 Dynamite. D. So let's play that fourth string. Whoa, that's actually too high. So I have a little tip here. 
when it's too high and you want to go down to the middle, uh, a, a great thing to do is to actually, since there's tension on the instrument and tension on the string, you, you don't want to go down and uh, straight to the middle right away. You want to go below the, the, the correct pitch and then go up again. And that's a great way to uh, make the guitar stay in tune better. So I'll play the string again, the D string. Too high, go down. And then up. It's a little too high, let's stretch it, stretch it out a little bit. A little bit more. That's really good. Okay. There we go. Now we have our D string in tune. Let's go to the next one. Emil 8 Dynamite Good. Right, the G string. I'll play that third string right now. And now it says G with a flat sign after. That's G flat. That's that's below the G note. If it says hashtag, <laughs> that's a sharp note. That would be G sharp. That's too high. So I can show you. Here's G. That's A flat, that's the same as G sharp actually. Let's go down to G again. Got it. So now we have the four uh, these four low low strings tuned up. So E, A, D, and G. Let's go to the B note. Emil A dynamite, goodbye. Here we go, playing the B string. Whoops, that's an A now. So B comes after A, right? So A is too low in this case. That's B flat. There we go, that's the B note. So now we have just one string left here. Let's play the high E string. E with a little B sign after, that's a flat sign, E flat. So that's below the note E that we wanna aim for. If it would have said, uh, you know, if it would be even lower, D or D flat, that's too low. So D, E, we wanna, we wanna go to E. So let's pull it up. Let's tighten the string. There we go, that's the E note. So when we're done, we've, we put a lot of tension on the guitar uh, neck here and uh, pulling up these th strings to the right pitch uh, changes the wood of, of the guitar a little bit. So it might not be perfectly in tune. Actually, it was pretty good there. I I'm, I I'm happy about that. But usually I go, go back to the first, uh, to the low E string again and then tune them and fine tune them one more time to really uh, get the notes to stay in pitch. There we go, it's in tune. That's a G chord. But if you don't have a tuner close by and you don't have your phone close to you and you want to tune up your instrument, there's many ways to tune up your guitar without using a, a, a tool like that. So, uh, but then you have to use your ear and that might be a little bit more tricky if you haven't done it before, if you haven't developed your ear in a way that you can hear the pitches. Everyone can develop the, uh, your ear. So remember that if it's tricky in the beginning, it will get easier once you've been, once you've been practicing it uh, for a while, you know. So, but I'm going to teach you a way. I'm going to just retune my instrument randomly here. That 
didn't sound too good either. But it shouldn't because I retuned my guitar. It's totally way off now. But uh, I want to tune the instrument anyway. I don't have a reference note. I don't have an E note anywhere. Uh, unless you have perfect pitch, you can just hear an E note. But if I don't have a reference note, I don't have a piano, you can always tune up to one of the guitar strings. And usually it's, it's nice to be able to do that using the low E string as a reference note. And uh, this way I, I usually do it. If you play with other people that are in tune, of course you can, uh, you can use this instrument to help you find an A note and then you can tune the A string uh, to that reference note. But if you don't have that, uh, tune up your E string somewhere where you think it's an E E note. It doesn't matter if it's if it's a wrong if it's not the E note but because you can tune the other strings relative to this uh, this note and the guitar will sound good even though all the strings might be a little bit low low tuned or high uh, the pitch will be a little bit too high on all strings it will still sound good if you tune the guitar um, uh, relative to one of the notes on the, your instrument. Uh, but like I said, if you play it together with a record and you know it's uh, the chords are G, D and C or something and you play along and it might not sound good because your instrument is tuned by itself but not to the right pitch, right? So, um, but if you just want to play yourself, this is an idea. So how, how do we do that? Well, we, we play the low E string, find a, a, a note that sounds not too high and not too low. This is tricky if you haven't played guitar before because it can be any note. You, but, but you can really feel if it's too low. You can feel the strings is starting to move all, all, all over the place. So I'll bring it up to somewhere maybe... Maybe there. Okay. So maybe a little bit too higher. Let's say, let's say that's the reference note that we're going to use. That's a little bit lower than E, I would think. But anyway, I press down on the 5th fret, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, on that E string. I press that down that note, and then play that string, and then I play the next string. And, uh, and that's an open A note, right? So, well now it's not an A, but the open A string. I'm gonna bring that up until it sounds the same as this one. And then I'm using my right hand. until it sounds the same. That sounds good to me. Now it's an A note. Let's do the same thing. We do the same thing on the next string. We move to the A string and play the 5th fret on the A string. Play that string and then play the D string open. And I can hear... Because I've, I've done it many times, I can hear that that 2nd note is too high. So I want to bring that down, right? And I'm, I bring it below the, the actual right pitch. And then up. There we go. Sounds good to me. Now we do the same thing again. Fifth fret on the D string. Pre uh, and I fret that note, press it down and play the D string. And then I'm going to play the G string open. That's pretty close, but it's way off, you know? It's way off, uh, it doesn't sound good. But it's very close, so let's bring it up just a tiny bit. Again. Yes. That sounds pretty good. Let's move on to the next one. And this is the only tricky thing here. So one, once you, you, uh, you know, tune the first uh, four strings, uh, you don't press down on the fifth fret of the G string, you press down on the fourth fret of the G string. And then you play the B string, open. And I can hear that's, that's too low. Let's bring it up. Okay, let's see. Sounds good to me. And now I'm gonna play the fifth fret again on the B string, the second string. I play that note, play the high E string. That's too low.
All right. That's pretty good. Okay, so once I've done that, once I've done that, I go back to the low string again and do the same thing. If it's a little bit too high, I don't know if you noticed, but I, I stretch out the string a little bit if it, I feel like that it's a little bit too high. Now, I'm gonna play a chord now. It's pretty close. Not, per not perfect, but pretty close. So now I've tuned the instrument uh, relative to this note, the low E string, that I just, I picked the note and it's too low. I can hear that it's not the note E, it's lower. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually lower. So, but anyway, it sounds good because I tune it in this, uh, using this method and now I can play, you know, by myself. It's almost in tune. I gotta tune it up again now. And that's usually what happens. If you play a little bit and then you play again, it's, it's slightly out of tune, you tune it, re you fine tune it one more time and it will be much better. But it sounds fairly good now, and once I've done that, uh, uh, like I said, now the whole guitar is tuned lower than the actual pitch because I, I didn't have a reference note. But that doesn't matter if I play, you know, guitar by myself, it, so it sounds good. But if you want to play with other people, you need a reference note, and if you have an E note, let's say I put on the guitar tuner again, and I play the lowest string, it should be E, e flat somewhere around there. Yep, pretty close to E flat. So I'll tune it up to E. There we go. And now I can do the same thing. I don't even have, have to have the application anymore. I can press down on the fifth string, play the next one. Bring it up, next one. Next one. Next one. And that's pressing down the fourth fret. And the last one, pressing down on the fifth fret of the B string. Playing the high E string. And now we're in tune. We can play anything. There we go. So this is a couple of ways to how to tune the guitar. So I really hope this video helped and that you can try yourself now and see if you can use the, these um, uh, tuning methods and learn how to tune your instrument yourself. So remember, Emil ate dynamite. Goodbye, Emil. Those are the strings. I wish you a wonderful day, everyone. And I hope to see you on the Pro Guitar website where we have a lot of lessons and a lot of fun stuff. Have a great day. See you. Bye. Mm -hmm.